Big chance for England. Sterling is there again. How on earth did Thomas Muller not bury that? It's Grealish. It's Kane. England two. Germany nil. Is it coming home? We beat the Germans. It could well be coming home. What a result, eh? But let's stick to what this channel is about. My name's George Ross. This is Retro Reselling, and I buy and sell stuff. Okay, sell it online for a profit. You know by now. It is Wednesday morning. I'm very tired, and this wasn't on the plan, but it is spitting right now. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. It's actually coming down a little bit. I thought Wednesday was supposed to be fine. The weather hasn't been great recently, but. When I was looking at the weather from the weekend, it said Wednesday was going to be good. So, yeah. Apparently it's on. It's the midweek boot sale, my favourite. My best performing one by far, so far this year. And now I'm up and ready. Might as well go. Hopefully we can make it worth it. One thing I was going to show you before we head off. I've been getting together a little boot sale survival kit type thing. This is the first time I'm taking this out. But you would have seen in a previous video, and try and get a clip up here. I was using this mystery object. Uh, it's basically just a power bank uh, and obviously because I buy electronics, buy and sell them. And out in the field, um, obviously very hard to test, you're basically gambling with your money. And when I'm the sole full-time income earner in our house at the moment, um, yeah, I can't be wasting money to be honest. So I was trialling that out, I've actually returned it, it wasn't doing the job I wanted it to. It's actually for charging, like portable charging. So if you go out camping or if you're in the garden, you can just plug in your phone, plug in your laptop and it charges. And as soon as, as that battery is charged, it will shut off. So I was plugging in like radios, I was plugging in VHS players. Uh, it would power it on, but for like five to 10 seconds maximum. Uh, plus it was a low wattage, so it didn't turn on everything. So yeah, returned it. I'm gonna do a bit more research into that before I do show off the one that I highly recommend. So obviously we've got to put a bit of expense into the business, especially full time and everything, but I need to reduce the amount of faulty items I'm buying. So VHS players, I want to know, or well obviously need to know it's working as much as possible. So with the power adapter, it at least turns on, makes the right noises. But this little thing, I'm going to keep in a trolley, three litre, really useful box. I got this from B&M. And inside, I'm going to be keeping things i got together so far. Blu-ray disc, I need a normal DVD disc actually. Got a VHS tape, like for camcorders, we've got a couple of sized like uh, tapes there, or cassette tape as well, for obviously radios, things like that. Screwdriver, obviously some things that have batteries, uh, with batteries they leak, like acid goes everywhere, it makes a right mess. Go in my little um, survival box, try and unscrew it, see if the batteries are knackered or not. And then talking of batteries, if things are powered by batteries, so like Walkmans, things like that. Got different size batteries, got two doubles, two triple A's. One of them ones, what's that one? Nine volt battery. Yeah, so I've only just started this. There might be other things I've forgotten. But it's only small, like I said, three litre. Keeps the lid on nicely. I keep it in my trolley, so it doesn't take up too much room as well. And hopefully, the plan is to save me money along the way, so I'm not buying faulty items anymore or minimizing it if I can. The only awkward thing is obviously doing this stuff in front of the seller, they might get offended. I don't know, everyone's offended by something, All right? That is what I've been doing recently. Let's uh, get going now. I've been waffling on too long. Hopefully there's some of the boots out to film with this rain. So it's not gonna be like a full field. Um, I reckon there might be two or three rows. Hopefully it doesn't rain anymore because it's house clearance and dealers. That's where I get my best stuff from. That's what I'm hoping to again fill the boot up with if I can. Make this journey worth it. No more waffle. Let's get in there. I'll see you in the field and then see you back at the unit to show you what I did get, if anything. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Let's go. Well, I'm here. Got three minutes till six o'clock. Um, but people seem to be already wandering over. I nearly turned around and went back home, back in Chelmsford, because it was coming down. Checked Facebook, they said, yeah, we're still on. There's no rain here. No rain here. So Made the rest of the journey. Oh look. It's raining and it's still coming down. Check BBC weather. Apparently only 10% chance of rain. Damn it. 
So it'll probably be a quick video because <laughs> there's only one row at the moment and even then I don't even think they've set up yet. Hopefully it stops raining. I'll head in. I probably won't take the trolley so I can't show you my survival kit. If I do wander in, bring you with me. If I pick up anything, I'll show you what I've got. It's not looking promising so far. Oh dear. What's that one? Oh, It's on the clock. Okay. Oof. Ow. Good news is it stopped raining. So we're going to get the trolley out. So I did have a bag. Bought two big things and he squashed the end of my finger off. <laughs> Boots out survival. Let's give it a go. Probably won't use it, but. There we go. Uh, 15 bucks. Oh, it's on the speakers? Okay. Uh, if you already want the speakers, I want, you know, I want to run 30 pounds for the set, so the speakers are 25 pounds. Okay. So without the speakers, I'm not selling the Yeah. <coughs> They're really good, the speakers. I mean, this is a bit old fashioned, but this is really Yeah. We can do 20 for the speakers, am I right? Too early. Too early. I'm not really keen to set them without. Should, uh, that's fine. Should be 25, you know. That's fine, that's fine. Right. How much is this one? 40. Okay.
you take 30 in this one? Take 35. 35. Yeah, I'll get that. Uh, 35 there. Nice one. Thanks, Thanks for that. What's on the lamps? Uh, fiber inch. Okay. A bit different. Yeah. No maker's name, but. No. Look, retro type. But uh, yeah, definitely 80s, isn't it? Yeah. I'll get both of them. Let's turn there. Thank you. Thanks Cheers. Cheers. Uh, that's pretty quick. Doing alright so far. Probably worth the trip now. It's just started spitting again. It's about 10 to 7, so I normally have about 40 minutes left before I have to leave for the school run. Uh, about half a field, so we'll have another route round, see what we can get, if anything. Hope for some good stuff, so we're not quite done yet. Hey, George. All right. You all right, mate? Yeah, good, thanks. Yeah, I wonder if I one day I'll see you. My yep. old, uh, channel am I there? Uh, oh, he's recording there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Luckily, it stopped raining. It is, isn't it? So, me turn well, around. Can I can't take a picture of you. Is that right? Yeah. I'll well, follow you on your channel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I walked past a little while ago and I saw it. Yeah. Sort of went round again. Um, oh, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. do your rounds, don't you, first? Yeah, I've been, yeah. I think this is my third or fourth time round now. Oh, right, well, okay. It's only half the size. But yeah. You get people recognising quite a bit. I mean, I've seen Yeah, about times. three or four times today. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's quite nice. It? Yeah. Oh, yeah <laughs> so yeah. it's just been self isolated. Yeah, like, yeah. Talking to yourself. This is it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. I sure you don't want anything. Mate, yeah, I don't have like... that. No, you're going to have All that. Right. Okay. Wet out. Cheers, mate. Lovely to see you on your way. Uh... I give you a shout out. What's your name? It's, my name's James, but it's, James. I'm probably following you as Pulse Space, but I'll send you oh, a cool. message anyway. Yeah. yeah. Cheers, mate. Yeah, well. yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, no worries, dude. Lucky on. Famous trolley, where's the pineapple bag? You've got oh, the pineapple someone gave me that bag. today, yeah. <laughs> someone gave me that today. Oh, did they? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thanks again. That's all right, dude. You're doing all right, though, selling. Yeah. Making a bit. Yeah.
So all done for this morning. Ended up being yeah half a field. Uh, the dealers and sort of house clearance guys that did turn up were for the majority the ones that are like priced at antique stall prices. So yeah, not the ones that are sort of more meet in the middle. They make a bit, I make a bit. It was mostly yeah high end eBay prices basically, which was a bit of a pain. So I've had to be sort of more tactical, more selective, and ha had to pay up a couple of times for a couple of things as well. Um, but if it brings good profits, then it's well worth paying up, like I say, for the right thing, quality items. So yeah, not the best, but still got some stuff. Uh, some generosity as well from a couple of viewers. So we'll get to that when we get back at the unit. Um, and it's just started raining again. Absolutely lovely. Bloody rain. Right, yeah. I'll see you in a bit, back at the unit. So, quiet morning, the rain kept half the people away uh, and left the most expensive people for the majority. Still got a couple of bits, not a major amount. Literally, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pickups from me, and also a couple of kind donations from a couple of you subscribers out there. But we'll get to that. Uh, we'll get through to the chairs first. We'll see, you know, from the previous video, I'm always after these camping chairs. Dealer pulled up, opened the boot, someone grabbed these out. I think they were a subscriber actually. Uh, put it down, they were £5 each. Uh, and yeah, it's like the metal wear, there's a bit of rust showing here and things. But with the age, it's going to be like that to be honest. Um, wooden handles, which I prefer. Again, showing a little bit of wear, but it's not too bad. Nice stripe design again. I was picking it up for £5, that should be £25-ish pounds plus postage, folds flat, cardboard it, wrap it up, off it goes. But this is the one I grabbed first. This is really, really nice. Uh, obviously a nice deck chair, folds up flat and everything. And this one has an extendable footrest, if I can get it out. There we go, look at that. That's really cool. Faux leather, not real leather. Nice brown design. The only downside is this arm here. Looks like it's been chewed by like snails or something. It's been left in the uh, garage or in the shed. Some sort of bugs got to that, which is a real shame. The other arm's okay. So I don't know if it's worth just leaving it like that, just showing it as it is, selling it like that. Or if I take the arm faux leather off, just to expose the wood, maybe. Not sure yet, but from £5 again, always buying that. Uh, this, I believe they're made in Italy. I can't remember the name of them. Price-wise, these usually, when they're obviously in excellent condition, obviously I've got to take into mind this bit of damage here. They're normally about probably 80-ish pounds, 85 pounds plus postage, just for one as well. Obviously this one, apart from that bit, it looks nice and clean once I've obviously given it a scrub. Obviously it's been in storage for a little bit, got to sort that out. I'm not sure what to do with that. I'll probably just declare it, let the buyer do what they want with it. So I'll probably be after to ask in a bit lower 50 60 pound plus postage so from five still plenty of profit folds flat same story with this one just a bit bigger a bit more awkward but yeah still loads of profit to be made and this is the table obviously not a lot like i said with the rain i could have drove all the way there spent an hour there and walked away with one or two things and just cover my petrol so luckily these things will make the morning worth it luckily uh this was one of the first pickups and very nice one this is one of the ones I've taken a bit of a punt on. This vintage jump jockey, electric steeplechasing. I've not seen it before, but um, looked interesting. I saw a couple of people ask how much. Uh, the guy was asking 40, uh, which obviously is quite a lot for a boot sale. Um, but looked it up and everything, uh, had a good look, offered 30, got it for 35 in the end. Opening it up, it is in great condition. Looks all there, all complete. Everything looks well looked after, like the hand remotes. It's like Sky Electrics, I think. Like stop start sort of thing. Link it up to the uh, track. Yeah, it looks well looked after, looks complete. It's got the manual there. There's three horses, start gate, loads of track. So with this really good complete condition, I'm pretty sure this should be working. It's just a regular power adapter here. Free plug, like regular power supply there. So fingers crossed it's working. And if it is working, all complete, really good condition. Box is a bit battered from age, but that's to be expected. This should hopefully be from 35, hopefully 180 to 200. Um, some people have done it as auction and got a bit lower, but obviously I don't do auctions. Very, very rarely do I do an auction. Um, buy it now, 200, maybe push a bit more if there's no competition. Accept offers, like I always say, I was 
best to start high and then come down rather than start low, lose out, miss out on some money. Um, so yeah, really nice pickup, bit of a gamble, but with the rain had to take more of a gamble really. To hopefully make profit and make it worth the trip. So overall, really happy with that pickup. Hopefully it's working. Come over to these two lamps, five pound each. I paid 10 pounds for the pair. Uh, really unusual, no maker's name or anything. But I just bought these purely for the look of them and the design. Look really, really like 80s, definitely 80s, I'd say at least. Yes, yeah, just literally the design that I paid five pound for. Um, obviously, people like their retro stuff just to kit out their homes and things. So people will buy it purely for the look. Doesn't really matter too much about the maker's name. The maker's name would have just made it easier in eBay searches and Etsy searches for people to look for these sort of things. So I've got to rely on keywords. Price wise, difficult one. Uh, I'm thinking off the top of my head, hopefully 40, 45 pound each. Um, but obviously if I do a bit more research, there's more competition. People are pricing a bit lower, 30, 35, we'll say safely. But five pound each to 30, 35, yeah, I'm taking it. And my second risk is these vintage trainers. Now, I've paid £30 for these. I know the guy that sells on the stool, he actually has a unit here where I am. Um, he collects trainers, he buys and sells them. Um, so he knows what's what and he's given me a bit of information about different trainers and things. These are Deodora Borg Elite Trainers Heritage, I think it's called. And these aren't just leather. Um, there are this sort of style and they go for about 30, 40 pound. But these ones, I've been informed and I've been researching and it is true. These are made from kangaroo leather. This is what makes the price even higher. They're only a size seven, so size isn't on their side, but I guess obviously that will then come into obviously women's sizes as well. So very small men's size sevens or the average type women's size. So I guess I've got both markets, let's say sort of plus there. I believe these are 80s, so ages on the side, premium materials as well, kangaroo leather. Uh, just showing me about the size, but from my 30, hopefully three figures, hopefully about 130 to 150. So again, with trainers, quick and easy to picture, list, uh, easy to store, obviously, and then send out. So hopefully paying up a little bit, it should be worth it. The last pickup I made was from a subscriber, from James. A so shout out to James, I said I'd give him a shout out. And it's for this Epson Perfection 3170 photo scanner. I do pick up scanners every now and then. They're normally in charity shops, I usually find them in. And they normally go quite well. And James let me have this uh, for free. So thanks so much again, James. Really appreciate it. Always willing to pay money, obviously. But yeah, said I could have it. So again, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, this should be hopefully a 30, 35 pound sale. Um, yeah, just a photo printer, nice Epson one, nice and long. You can get higher end scanners that go for like three figures and a bit more like that. Um, but yeah, 30, 35 pounds. Thanks again, James. Really appreciate it and really nice to see you. Hopefully see you again. So that's everything I got and then bumped into Kevin again. Bumped into Kevin a couple of weeks ago. And he, again, kindly donated me some stuff, and he did yet again. Uh, Kevin of London Toy Shop gave me a flyer there, or poster. Uh, and he, again, lent me all this stuff. He's got a unit in the Toy Emporium, I think it is. Um, but yeah, literally a box full of goodies for me to try and sell. This is a good one, Iron and Oak. Sort of, um, I think it's like a, um, a game type thing. This was like a hopefully 40-ish pound game. Uh, yeah, just some random bits and that. Some things I might just donate. I'll put in a boot sale pile, a couple of bits. But yeah, some really cool stuff. Like this fire type telephone. That looks really cool. Uh, of course, little gift there. The pineapple. The blooming pineapples. There you go. Put that one there with that one. A couple more different games. Munchkin zombies. Not heard of that one. Got signatures here. The glitter band, controversial. Don't think Gary is in that picture. But yeah, got some signatures. Don't know if they're real or anything. I don't normally touch signatures because they can be easily faked. But yeah, that was in the box. I've got some watches, big platform shoes here. Uh, only ASOS, so probably worth sort of 20 quid maybe, but they're really cool. Size 12, really big size as well. But yeah, a box of different stuff. So yeah, thanks again, Kevin, for that. Really appreciate it. See what I can do with it. And that was today. Almost turned around, I went back home and that rain was coming down. I was still in Chelmsford, pulled over. The Facebook page said it wasn't raining. I got there, it was still raining. 
but uh, I managed to just about get away. With, uh, blah, 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 blah. But overall, I just managed to get away with it. Make the journey, obviously the my time, effort, petrol, things like that. Uh, yeah, a few more things to add to the shop, and obviously the kind donations as well. Thanks so much again. Yeah, that's everything. Taking a couple of risks, but hopefully it should pay off. Fingers crossed. Thanks again for watching. Hope you learned something here today. Have a good one. I'll see you probably on the weekend if there is uh, any boot sales and the rain stays away. Um, so I'll see you then. See ya.